everybody, it's Maddie. In today's video I'm going to be going over how I made my Journal 3 from Gravity Falls. It's like fully illustrated. I made it over a year ago now for a Dipper cosplay that I have. It's still one of my favourite cosplays and I'm still very proud of this journal. So, let's get into it. Alright, so first I'm going to go over how I made the front and back cover. So I started off with a regular sketchbook, like a empty sketchbook, which is hardcover for my journal. The dimensions of mine are 15 centimeters by 21 centimeters approximately. So as you can tell mine's not very big. It's not as big as like that official book that they released, but that's okay because I didn't want mine to be huge. To cover the black, I just put red cardboard over the top and I hot glued it down because I found that hot glue was the best method for that. And then I added the detail with both gold and gray cardboard. For the hand specifically, I definitely traced a template because I don't think I would have been able to get it otherwise, but the six hand, the six fingered hand and the three I copied from a template. But the rest I sort of just guessed, to be quite honest. On the back I did the same I covered it with cardboard and guessed the details you can see that it's a bit old so some of the things are starting to fall off but that's okay I've done my rune sort of things the tears that are supposed to be in there I also did the spine with the same method and I made a little tassel as well that's I know I think there's a monocle on it as well like a little circular glass thing which I didn't put on, but I have the tassel at the side, which is just wool and a tassel that I found at the craft store and some more of that gold cardboard. And as well as that, another big thing that I had to do, which took a really long time, was I stained all of the pages with tea. As you can see back here, it's like just a regular white sketchbook and I wanted it to be like old looking like it is in Gravity Falls, so I tea stained them all. It took a really long time because you'd have to do them one at a time or the pages will stick together when they're wet, but that's okay. Here you can see some of the empty pages. I think it ended up looking really good. I didn't actually stain all of the pages because that would have taken too long. I only stained the ones that I thought I was going to need. And as well as that, I also stained the side just so you could clearly see the ones that I probably stained and didn't, but I just didn't want them to be stark white, so I tried to stay in the side as well. But that's okay. And before I flick through and show you everything, I just want to disclaim to you that I know, I know, that the pages are not in the right order. I'm mad at myself because I couldn't find the right order of the pages. And it turns out they're on the wiki page the whole time because I actually copied most of my information from the Journal 3 wiki page, which I will link in the description for you if you want to look at it for yourself, if you want to make your own journal. Turns out, yeah, the order was on the page the whole time and I just didn't see it because I'm an idiot. So my pages are not in the right order. Don't come for me. I'm probably more mad about it than you are. In saying that, let's start. So I've got my very front page, this little property of ripped thing this is like a separate piece of paper that I stuck down as you can see I'm getting the this journal is getting a bit old so it's like some of the things like the tape and the texture have started to bleed together and another thing that you probably notice is a lot of my writing isn't actually writing it's just scribbles that's meant to look like writing that's honestly just because I'm lazy <laughs> and I couldn't figure out what they would say so I would just do a scribble and hope it looked somewhat like writing. I also cut some little things out of the pages like they are in the TV show. And then this page, June 18, what I would basically do is find as much writing as I could and copy it as to the best of my ability into Ford's handwriting. As you can see, I didn't do a very good job, but that's okay. And I would find reference pictures and try to draw the pictures as accurately as I could. I'm not saying that they're accurate, but they're as accurate as I could do. I've got the iconic page. I feel like this is the most iconic page. This is the gnomes page. 
but I just drew it really I've got these these pictures I printed out I found them online as well I can link that in the description for you as well and then everything that I would print out I just tea stained and stuck on with tape for most of this work I just used a black sharpie for the thick things because that's easy and for the thin things I have these pens well actually I had like a red sharpie as well for like the thick red things and then for the thin things I have a black one of these as well so it's just I like how I still have these like just next to me like convenient when you don't clean the things in your room in like over a year but that's okay that's okay so as you can see some of the things that I've written are actually words like visible only at night no retinal cord oh here I've got Desmondus Rotundus maybe and then a lot of my other writing is just scribble some of it is real words I think um, that's not focusing but a lot of it's just scribble so there you go and then I've got all these like little red things there's a lot of like red details in here it's like honestly the messier it looks the better I'll keep going here I've got dippers writing so I'm trying to distinguish between Ford's writing and dippers writing which is hard when you're writing in your own writing but yeah this is all just like I would look at pictures on the internet and I would copy them and draw them I'm not really the best drawer but these didn't turn out too awfully here I've got more of those things that I would stick down and then I would draw a big cross through it. I've got my drawings. Here's some runes. Some These are really hard to be honest just to copy them so perfectly. They don't have to be perfect but you know I'm trying my best. Here I've got the iconic trust no one page with this big circle thing. Here I've actually got real writing. Unfortunately, my suspicions have been confirmed. I'm being watched. Blah, blah, blah. This is all real writing. This is just scribble. This is just scribble. The undead. If you're struggling to get everything, like, especially the writing, right on the first go, I would recommend drawing with pencil, like lead pencil first, and then tracing over it. So that way you've got a little bit of something to go off. Here I've got um, more of those pictures. I also like ripped them a little bit. Like they weren't ripped in the template that I used. This is just green acrylic paint that I smeared on my finger, I think. Here's, this is all scribble. None of this is real writing except on this page here, which... You can see on the the wiki page, this is a little map. This doesn't actually fold into a hat. I wish it did, but I'm not that talented. So that's just taped on, like, and this little piece of tape is just, like, that part's not sticky. It's folded over on itself to look like it's taped there, but it's actually not. Just some more drawings, some more... If you ever want to copy any of these, you can just like pause this page and screenshot or something so that you can see my versions of it. This is a disaster. See this smudge here? Makes me want to kill myself every time I see it. I accidentally touched it with my finger and I put a big red smudge on the page. And I'm so mad at myself. And when I did this, I spatted the, like I would get my paintbrush, say this was my paintbrush. I would get a lot of red paint on it and just go like this and it would spatter and I would cover up the place, places I didn't want spattered with paper so they didn't get spattered. My wall behind me was completely covered in paint and lucky we ended up repainting because it was a disaster. So this is all paint. You could probably do it in texture as well. That even might look nicer. You probably won't get these awful smudges. And up here under I've got some little runes in gel pen I think it is like pastel yellow gel pen just because that it looked more accurate than doing it in pencil or something here I've got here I actually used pencil 
and like red and black pencils to like add some shading and here I've just got yeah this page was a lot of work I did all this in pencil first and then traced over it this is like the page that connects with the other journals the hide behind the leprechaun spells Oh, I missed one. Hiding spot. As you can see, all of my um like tea staining isn't the same on each page, which is actually like one of the reasons I like it. They all look different. So, and I also like missed a few spots with the tea. You can see like it's down here and stuff. It's okay. Like if I was bothered, I probably should have gone over them. But like here's a really big spot. This is also just acrylic paint as well that I've smudged on. The rest is just Sharpie and pencil. Here is, this is more paint here. The blind eye. I think here I've got some green pen. So, just see the pages. This is yellow acrylic paint. Just look, big do with what you've got. The last page. This is Dipper's page that he wrote. After spending so long trying to write in Ford's handwriting, it feels really strange to be writing in Dipper's handwriting, so just be careful. Make sure you look at your reference. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I also ruled out ruled out some lines in lead pencil because the rest of the book isn't lined, so I'm not quite sure why this page is, but that's okay. So thanks everybody for watching this video. If you liked it, I would really appreciate if you could like and subscribe. And also follow me on Instagram. The link will be in the description below. Along with the template for those pictures, like the doors and things. And as well as the link, which I copied most of this journal from. So yeah, that's it. See you guys later.